Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at how we generate some random numbers and we're going to take it one step further and we're going to take a look at how we can generate random numbers that don't repeat. So that's the two things that we're going to go through in this video. For those of you who know how to generate random numbers, see this as a refresher. But if you're making a quiz app or something like that, where you need to generate a lot of random numbers that don't repeat, then this is also the video for you. So let's start by not opening up an Xcode project like we normally do, but this time we're going to open up the playground. So open up a playground and uh, in here I have a function. And I can call this function generate random numbers. And I can, for example, say I want to get generate a random number from 10 to maybe 20. And then I can choose how many I want. So maybe five numbers, five random numbers from, from 10 to 20 that don't repeat. So for example, here 19, 15, 12, 11, 10. I could also just leave it at nil. And thereby it will take all of the random numbers from 10 to 20. And as you will see, I now have an array with random numbers uh, that are generated at random. So for, so as you can see here, 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, yeah, 45, all the way up to 20. So the, that, uh, that, that. this is one of the functions that we're going to make. But before we do that, we're just going to go straight to the basics. So let's see, import UI kit we're going to jump straight to the basics and just take a look at how to generate a random number so what we do is we create a constant random number Let's see is equal to uh, arc for random underscore uh, uniform and here we can then type in a number for example 10 and this will generate a random number from 0 to 9 so if we now print random number we have a random number from 0 to 5 which is 2 and uh, so if we wanted a random number from 0 to 11 we would basically have to say 11 here instead and then we would have a random number from 0 to 11 now let's say we wanted to generate a random number form from 10 to 20 how would we go about doing that well first of all it's exactly the same but we just say plus 10 that way because if we were just to leave it at this, we would generate a random number from 0 to 10. But because we want to generate a random number from 10 to 20, then we just plus 10 on one of the... So no matter which number we get, we just plus 10. And that way our range is not 0 to 10 anymore, but it's 10 to 20. So that's how you would do that. Now this is important because in our function we are going to use exactly that. So let's start by creating our function. And I'm going to name this generate random number. Let's see, generate, generate random number. And it's going to accept three parameters. The first one is going to be from and it's going to be an integer, so from a certain number to another. So from that to this number. And then we can also specify the quantity of how many um, how many numbers we want to generate. And this is going to be an optional integer. And as a result, it's going to return an array of integers. So this is the basic layout of our function. And as you can see, we have an underscore hit, uh, here. That simply means that if I now were to call my function, I didn't have to write from like this, from and then for example, 10. I could just leave it at 10. So that's why we add the underscore there. So here we have our basic layout of our function. And now we can start by creating some variables. So the, my, our first variable is my random numbers and this is going to be our array of random numbers and it's going to contain integers just like that so now we have a, a created an array that is basically empty but it's ready to store a bunch of integers the next one we want is number of numbers and this is going to be equal to our quantity integer right here so what this basically does is it tells us uh, how many numbers 
to generate. And this one, all our generated numbers. So those are our two essential variables. And now just to make uh, everything a bit more tidy, a bit more clean, as you know, uh, when you generate a random number, you can't use integers. You have to use uint32. So I'm going to convert my from and to uh, variables right here, or parameters, to uh, uint32s. So let lower bounds, which is our lowest number from uh, our lowest number in our range, which is going to be a uint32 from our from variable and we can just copy this and then our higher is going to be two so generate from this number to this one so that's our range basically from which we generate numbers from so now we have our array that's going to contain all of our generated numbers we have our the quantity of numbers that we want to generate and we have the range from with from which we want to generate these numbers then what we want to do is we want to use a little if statement and we want to check if number of numbers is equal to nil because as you can see up here we aren't requiring our user to do this it's an optional he can specify how many he wants so we're checking if it's equal to nil and if it is equal to nil, we basically set the quantity equal to the amount of numbers that is in our range. So the amount of numbers from lower to the higher number. And we do that by simply saying number of numbers is equal to uh, lower. Actually, we're probably going to use the from because those are integers. From, I mean, two minus from and then plus one. This leaves us with the amount of numbers that is in the range between lower and the higher number. We're also going to check if our, uh, if you, because you are going to be using this function, if you uh, requested a, a number that is higher than the amount of numbers within this range, because we want to generate only numbers that don't repeat. That's why we can't uh, generate more numbers than there is in the range. So if the user of this function has specified more, uh, more amount than is in that range, we have to set it for him. So if uh, numbers is equal to nil, or uh, number of numbers, see, number of numbers is greater than two minus from plus one. So now we have uh, filled our number of number variable with exactly the amount that we want. And we have also done some error checking. Let's just check where the problem would be. And let's see. And we need to force unwrap that. No problem, we are going to do that. Okay, the server has crashed, but I think we can continue on nonetheless. So we're going to use a while statement now, and this is going to be our last statement for this function. And then this function is basically doing what it should do. So let's create a while loop here, while my random numbers dot count is not equal to number of numbers. So as long as um, the amount of numbers in our array is not equal to the amount of numbers we want to generate, we're just going to keep on going. So let my number, and here we're going to generate our random number, arc for random, uh, and let's see, and within here we are going to write higher minus lower, see if it wants to play along, minus lower plus lower. So this is going to generate our random number that is within the range between lower and higher. And we're basically using the same philosophy as we talked about at the beginning of the video. Uh, so if the logic isn't completely clear, then please stop here and just take a look at it and then think about how we're actually making sure that we're only generating numbers between the lower and the higher points with this uh, statement right here. And now we basically want to check if that number that we have just generated is uh, already exists in our array. So we have to check if um, my random number 
dot contains and as you can see i have an exclamation mark here which means if uh, our array does not contain and if it does not contain my number then of course we are going to append it to our array so we simply say my random numbers dot append and the new element that we want to append is our my number and we just need to convert that to an integer int just like that and now after we have run that while loop on all of our and filled up our whole array let's see what the problem is up here and he will also need to convert it to an integer and then here when that while loop is complete we have filled up our whole array and we can now return my random numbers just like that so here we have the function that's going to generate random a bunch of random numbers for you as many as you want so let's try and test this function generate random numbers and we want to generate a random number from three to five and we want to just leave it at nil so that we get the whole range from three to five and as a result as you can see it's running a bunch of times which probably means that we haven't done everything correctly here because that isn't supposed to happen. Let's stop our playground here and let's look for the error. I'm just going to take a couple of seconds to look for it. And after looking a bit, I finally found the error and it's right here. We need to say plus one. And now, <laughs> now it should work. Let's uh, write the same command one more time. And now it's generating four, three, five, much better. Uh, instead of running it 4,000 times or how many times it uh, ran it. So let's try to generate some more. And now I want to generate from 10 to 20. And I'm just going to leave it at nil because I want the whole range. And as a result, I'm getting 19, 13, 13 17, 18, 16. So all of my random numbers, I can also specify three and then I'm generating three random numbers right there. So that is how you generate random numbers that don't repeat. Uh, this is awesome if you're making any quiz app or just need some random numbers to do something with. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so that you stay tuned for future videos. Other than that, thank you for watching.